Hey everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to everything that I bought so far in April, in the first two weeks of April. I've done a lot of shopping and this is an epic haul and it's going to take a bit to get through everything. I've broken things down into different categories. We're going to start with makeup, I have clothing, and then I have household, lots of organizational things because I'm in the mood to organize. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's get into some drugstore makeup. I bought another of the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I'm not a fan of heavy foundation, so I really like a BB or a CC cream. I found this one a year ago. It's so nice and light. It's perfect for the summer. It just masks all of the redness in my face. It just leaves my complexion looking nice and smooth. And new to me is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I bought this in light. All of these drugstore products are going to be used in an upcoming drugstore makeup video that I've been promising you forever. I picked up the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer on your recommendation. Now when it came to powder, I wasn't sure which I should pick up. So I settled on the Marcel Translucent Face Powder. I'm not sure if this is a Canadian company. I want to say that it is, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I'm going to be trying this whenever I do my drugstore makeup look. I picked up the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer. I've got it in the shade Light. I'm really curious to try this because I hear lots of YouTubers talk about it. So I'll be anxious to see how it compares to the It Cosmetics Bronzer, which I really like. This looks a lot lighter than the It Bronzer, so I'm gonna be curious to try this out. Now, I didn't know which blush to pick up, so I finally settled on this one by Physician's Formula. Actually, it was just the packaging that caught my eye, and it's called their Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush, and this is in the shade Neutral. I think there are a couple of different shades. I have tried some Physician's Formula products in the past. I didn't like their bronzer that everybody loves because I just found the smell of coconuts a bit too overwhelming. So I'm looking forward to giving this a try. Now I've already tried this in the past, but I picked up another L'Oreal Infallible Long Wearing Eyeliner. I think this is in brown. It's waterproof, so I thought that would be good for the summertime. And this is where I've struggled in the past with the drugstore products, and it's with the eyebrow pencil. I find the ones that I've tried in the past, they just look too orange on me. So I saw this one, it's by L'Oreal, and it's their Brow Stylist Definer, and I got it in the shade Light Brunette. So I usually wear, I think it's Universal Taupe, I wear the um, It Cosmetics one most of the time, the Brow Power but I have tried other ones, so we'll see how this goes. So for a drugstore eyeshadow, I wasn't sure what to pick up, so I settled on this Wet n Wild palette. It's a five pan palette and it's the uh, Petalette palette. I really liked the, the nice taupes and the pink. I thought that would look nice for the summer with my blue eyes, so I'm anxious to try this out and I couldn't get over you know, how affordable this palette is compared to ones you would buy elsewhere. And I picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise Mascara. I'm not sure, is this waterproof? It doesn't say so. I got it in the shade Black and Brown. I tried this many, many years ago and it was fine. So that's why I decided to go with it. A few of you recommended that I try the e.l.f. setting spray. So I picked that up and I'm gonna try this. I normally use the Cosmetics one or the one by Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna be really curious to try this one out. And then for a lip liner, again, I went with another L'Oreal product. I didn't plan to do mostly all L'Oreal, but that's what I was just drawn to. And it's their Age Perfect Lip Liner, and it's in the shade Splendid Plum. And I'm really hoping that the lip liner goes well with this uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect Lipstick. And it's the number 208 in Subtle Primrose. And I'll just give you a quick peek at that. So be on the lookout for drugstore makeup video. It will be coming soon. Sorry that it's taken me so long, but uh, you know, life's been busy for me. So now instead of doing a separate what I bought at Sephora video, I'm gonna show you all the Sephora things that I bought in the sale. I only bought a few things, but there were things that I really wanted to try. 
The first one that I'm going to talk about is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I have used this for a couple of years, but I went, you know, maybe six months without it. I'm glad to have it back. I have tried other ones. I always come back to this one. It's very hydrating. I have oily eyelids. I put this on my eyelids and then underneath the eyes. Never have any issues with it. It's a really great eye cream and I wear it morning and night. And a little bit of this goes a really long way. So this will last me for probably close to a year because it takes just the tiniest amount. So I did end up buying the Jo Malone London Sakura Cherry Blossom Perfume. And let me tell you, this little sucker was so expensive. I'm glad I got 20% off. I normally do not like Jo Malone perfume because I find the scent is way too strong and it usually triggers a migraine on me. This is a very light, barely there scent, almost to the point that it doesn't last very long. And that was one of the things that I did read in the reviews on Sephora. So people suggested saying, you know, put some body lotion on and then put this over the body lotion that helps to extend the scent throughout the day. So I did buy it. I've tried it once. Like I said, I don't, don't know how to describe the smell. It's very, very light. It is pretty. It doesn't have like an overpowering rose smell, which I cannot stand because I believe there are uh, hints of rose in this, but it's such a small bottle of perfume. But you know what? It may become a summer favorite for me. And if that's the case, then I'm glad I tried it. And before I forget, I wanted to also mention if you're looking for a summer fragrance, last year I recommended the Beach by Bobbi Brown. It was the first time that I used it. I really love that fragrance. I wear it in the spring and summer. And I could never figure out, you know, what does it remind me of? Because it made me think of when I was a kid and when we'd go camping and you know, I'd be on the beach and a few of you said it reminds you of the scent of copper tone suntan lotion. And it's yes, that's what it is. So if you're looking for a nice light scent that does last a long time throughout the day, go check out the Bobbi Brown Beach. I will link it underneath this video. I did pick up a Mr. Burberry cologne that I forgot to bring in here for my husband because he was right out and he's been wearing that for a long time. So if you're looking for a nice scent that isn't too strong for your hubby, uh, I recommend that one. And as you can see, I did pick up the Aura Bay Gold Lust Shampoo and the small size of the conditioner. This is the size of the bottle for the Aura Bay. It's a repair and restore shampoo. Love the bottle, love the packaging. I was a little uh, underwhelmed by the size, but I knew that there wasn't gonna be a lot in it because I did buy the eight ounce size because that was expensive enough. Haven't tried it yet, I wanted to show it to you first, uh, but I will try it probably tonight and I'll be sure to let you know what I think about it. But I have tried it in the past through a sample and I did like it. And that's the tiny, tiny mini size of the conditioner. I couldn't get over the size of this bottle. I knew it was going to be small, but really this small. But again, with conditioner, I don't use much and I never put it on uh, the my top of my scalp. I usually just put it on the sides and the back because I do tend to have oily hair. I stay away from the scalp as much as I can with conditioner. I did get the Dior Nail Glow. I'm excited to try this. What it is, is it just enhances the pink in your nail bed. I'm not somebody that usually wears a lot of um, nail polish on my fingers. I like my toes done, not so much my fingers. So I thought I might try this for the spring and summer just, you know, to make my fingers look a little extra special. I got another Color Wow shampoo. I love this shampoo. It gives me so much body and volume. However, I do not like to pair it with the matching conditioner. So I really do like this shampoo and it's also available in tons of different sizes. And I bought the La Mer Lip Balm. And let me tell you, save your money. I'm glad I tried it. It was a really expensive fail. Well, not so much a fail. There's just nothing special about it. And some of you told me that it really wasn't that great, but I wanted to try it for myself because I am kind of a lip fanatic. I will keep it. However, there's a few things about it that I do not like. Well, first let's start with what I like. The packaging is nice and it is a nice quality lip balm. 
in that it's not sticky, pretty much stays on my lips um, where I put it, like doesn't stray too far. However, it doesn't last. I will put it on, you know, throughout the day and before I know it, I've like ate it off or it's just, it's disappeared, like through me drinking my water or whatever. I've also tried it at night. Can't say that my lips feel any more hydrated than they do with the Laneige lip sleeping mask, which is what I normally always use. So I'm glad I tried it. I am not buying the lip scrub. I, I, I didn't buy it, so I won't be buying it. And I would not buy this again either. Unless things dramatically change for me before I hit pan on this, I don't think that it will change my mind. I didn't buy this during the Sephora sale, but I'm gonna talk about it because I know somebody's gonna ask me what I'm wearing. I bought this last fall for the cruise I was going on and it's a Chanel uh, lipstick with a lip gloss. It's dual ended as you can see. So this end has the lip gloss or yeah, the lip gloss. And then you set it with this end, which is a clear lip gloss. And you have to use the two together because I think the clear lip gloss is what sets it on your lip. The color is way too small for me to see. Shocking pink. And it is nice. It's nice for the spring and summer. I find that it bleeds a lot. So you gotta, you know, do the stick the finger in the mouth thing or else it's gonna end up on your teeth. But it is a nice, very pretty lipstick or lip gloss. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what they call it. It definitely stains the lips and it stays there for a while. Does it last all day? No, but it lasts longer than average. But I just thought it was a really nice shade for the summer. Okay, so now can we talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing? I placed a small order of some Kendra Scott jewelry because I think I only have two pieces of hers. I have to now, because Nordstrom Clothes order them from the Kendra Scott website, they do ship to Canada. Duty is included. However, shipping prices are outrageous. I think it was like $30 for shipping. But I wanted to uh, try a few pieces. So the first one I wanna talk about is the uh, Elena Delicate Bracelet Peony Mother of Pearl. It is adjustable. It's super pretty. It's very delicate. You can see the chain, very delicate sparkles. It is adjustable. You have to pull this little, you just squeeze this little ball thing and then uh, you can adjust it to where you want. So I had to pull the thing all the way around so I could get it on my wrist. I have a fairly big wrist. I mean, it's, it's all bone. My wrist is seven inches. And I think on the website it said it would fit up to an eight inch or I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I am, you know, have big bones, but it is cute. It's cute for the summer. I, you know, could wear it with a stack on, uh, on this arm. Typically I like silver, but I think gold looks nice whenever, you know, my body gets tanned. So it's really cute and I am happy with it. Although I thought that the actual pendant part or whatever you call this part would be bigger. I'm really shocked on how small they are, like even on the necklace, because whenever you look online, they just look so much more magnified. I was a little underwhelmed with the size, but it is growing on me and I do like it. I bought another bracelet and it's the Kendra Scott Madison Daisy Bright Silver Pearl Stretch Bracelet. And it's in three different colors and I bought the light blue opal crystal. It is a stretch bracelet. I'm just trying to show you the daisy, like how tiny it is. But it is cute and I will keep it. So it is a stretch bracelet. And I'm always afraid of these, you know, in case they break. But I just thought it was cute. And pearl is my stone because my birthday is in June. I just thought that was so pretty, so cute for Mother's Day. So it was a treat for myself. So it's kind of cute, you know, in a stack. I am trying to, you know, wear a little bit more jewelry. Now the necklace, I will tell you, I opened it as, um, a, a, as far as I could extend the chain. So I, my neck, I think is 17 inches. You know, I have a big neck. There's some fat here. When I lose weight, it will get smaller. I just wanted to show you, you can buy extenders for her necklaces if you want them to, you know, fall a little lower. I'm okay with it uh, at this length. I believe it's, it's either 17 or 19 inches. And this is the framed Alyssa 
silver short pendant necklace and lavender opalite. I like how silver looks against my skin. And again, I just liked the color of this. And I think this is an updated chain new for like the spring. It has like these little, um, I don't know, solid bars that reflects light. So it is kind of cute. I would have thought that it would have fallen maybe down here on me, but again, I guess because of the size of my neck, I would have to put an extender. I guess for every day, this length is okay. Her jewelry, I think is well made. It is expensive, but I do like some of the pieces. If you know of any other brands that you could suggest jewelry that isn't too expensive, you know, jewelry just to wear every day, I'd really appreciate that. So let me know below this video what brands you recommend other than Kendra Scott. And then I'll show you this bracelet again. I showed it like last month and it may be sold out, but just for size wise, if you can get it, this is, I forget the name, but it's a bangle. It does open. That's how I got it on. I'll show you there. There's just this little push thing and you just push it like that. At first I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way that's gonna fit. It fits me fine. It's not too tight, doesn't bother me. It also comes in silver. I really wanna get it in silver. So I'm really hoping she has a really good sale maybe for Mother's Day and I can get the silver one if it's still in stock. So the only complaint I have is that her shipping is really expensive to Canada. Oh, and very, very, very slow to ship. I think it took like two weeks. And I had to like email them and say, did my order get lost? Because like you charge my credit card and like it's just sitting there, it's never moving. And it was kind of suspect because whenever I emailed them that afternoon, I got another email saying that it had been shipped out. So maybe it was coincidence or maybe it did kind of get lost somewhere, but I did end up getting them. Okay, so for clothes, so far what I bought and I already showed you some of these in try on video that I will link here, but I'll just quickly go over them. I bought a J. Crew green t-shirt that I really liked. It's just their basic t-shirt. I like it and it fits me fine. And I will get it again in different colors. I also bought this J. Crew pink linen tee, which I find is kind of shapeless and boxy, very see-through. You definitely have to wear a nude bra with it. It kind of underwhelmed me. I wouldn't buy this again. I like the color, but I just buy it in the regular t-shirt. And then I am absolutely loving the J. Crew uh, straw tote. The handles are available in three different colors. I got the natural straw. I think one is gold and one is white handles. Really, really love this. It's gonna come in so handy. I'm gonna use it as a beach bag. I'm gonna use it, you know, when I go shopping to put stuff in because in Canada, we are now plastic bag free, at least where I live. Uh, so you have to bring your own bags whenever you shop, no more plastic. So now let's talk about what I'm wearing. I just got this yesterday and you can expect a try on haul video probably Friday or Saturday of this week. The top that I'm wearing is a Talbot's ruched back tee. I love it. For Little Miss, I hate stripes. This is now my third striped top this spring. What I've discovered is that I actually look good in very small horizontal stripes that have a dark background. I would not recommend wearing horizontal stripes any larger than this or horizontal stripes on a lighter background because I think that would just make me look larger. Typically when you're an apple shape and by apple shape, I mean you carry most of your weight in your midsection, which is my body shape. Horizontal stripes are not flattering and they aren't when they're like larger stripes, but somehow I'm able to pull off these um, tiny little horizontal ones. And it's kind of cool because it just looks a little step above just a plain blue t-shirt. But I'm gonna turn around and show you the back on this. It is so cute. Can you see the cutout in the back? And remember from my spring fashion trends video, Cutouts are on trend, so I'm feeling trendy because stripes are on trend this year too. This is available, I think, in four or five different colors. There's a really nice purple that I'm debating should I get, but it's like, oh, do I want all of my tops to look the same? Probably not. I'm okay with the sleeves. They are on the shorter size, but if you're somebody that's conscious about your upper arms and you want to hide them, you might not like this, but like I said, it's fine for me. Like I know my, my upper arms are flabby. I'm gonna start lifting weights. 
but uh, it doesn't bother me because I like to be cool in the summer. And I'm also wearing the jean Talbot's white cropped jeggings. Now I know a lot of times people is, will say if you are plus size you really shouldn't wear white on the bottom. I disagree. I think wear whatever it is that you want that makes you feel comfortable. But there are different tips that you can use to style them. For instance, I wouldn't go with like a capri because we know capris are not the most flattering because they cut our legs right in the middle of the calf and the calf is a larger part of the, um, the leg from the knee down. So that's why I would go for a short or a crop pant or an ankle pant. I like the jeggings because they are a little more tapered on the bottom. For myself, I have short legs and a long torso. My inseam is 27 inches and I either go with like a tighter leg or um, a straight leg. I find a wide leg or like a really big um, boot cut leg is not flattering on me. So it's really important to find the style that works best for you. Now what I recommend if you want to get a pair of these white jeggings is that I would go with a top uh, that has color on it. I wouldn't go with like another white top unless you're going to wear like a sweater or something over it. That's just my personal preference because I think if I was wearing a white top on top of the white pants it would make me to appear larger but because my top is longer I try and get my tops to hit me at my bottom hip. That's a good length for me. I wouldn't want to go like any higher up because then you're right into my belly area. Everybody's belly hits at a different spot. So try and find what length is best for you. So I'm going to have some uh, summer style tips coming up for uh, us apple body shapes and we'll dive into that a lot deeper in that video. But anyways, I just wanted to point that out because if you're thinking, I would really like to get a pair of white shorts or a pair of white pants for the summer. Go for it. Try it. And if you look in the mirror and you think that you look good, who cares what anybody else thinks? It's not them wearing it. I love a good skirt, and I have several from Athleta, but I wanted to try one from Talbot's. And you know Talbot's always has a good sale on. And the reason why I like Talbot's is because they have plus petite, because I'm five foot four. Petite's for anybody that's height is... Uh, five foot four or under or petite is also like if your body frame is smaller so I'm a good example my body frame is not small however I can still wear petite because I'm on the shorter side so I got a, uh, one of their everyday stretch skorts I'm anxious to try that on for you in that haul let you know what it's like because I do have their everyday stretch leggings and I love them and then I got a pair of their Terry shorts I didn't realize that I had got a tear pair of the Terry shorts. You know, sometimes that will happen to me that uh, I'm online shopping and I get distracted and then I hit um, buy before I've verified everything. But I'm going to keep them. They're nice. And then I bought a pair of their relaxed chino shorts in the six inch lake length because for myself, I like a short that is shorter. I don't find that the long Bermuda ones look good on me. They just cut my leg like in a really strange place. So that's what I mean. Like you can take style tips and try to apply them, but ultimately you have to find out what works the best for you. So I like these. I'm anxious to try them on. They feel like they're really well made. There are flat back pockets. No, there aren't. Oh, okay. I got them in a size 22 uh, plus petite. It looks like if there's a pocket, there aren't pockets. So that's good because, you know, pockets could add weight in the back end. They're a zip up front with a button. And if you wear a belt, which I never do, uh, there are belt loops. And I bought a cover-up. I was kind of, should I buy this from Talibut's? Because for me, it is expensive if I have to return something because I have to pay for the return shipping to a Canadian store and it's gonna cost me at least 20 bucks. So anyways, I did try this on last night and it is by Cabana Life and it is their tunic cover-up. It's a swimsuit cover-up. It is gorgeous. Wait until you see this on. I will also wear this as a dress. I wish you could feel how soft the material is. Of course, pink, I wish it came in blue. 
It is adorable. It's the perfect length for me. It's sleeveless, slip on over the head. This was not in petite. It was just in plus size. And I got the 3X just because I was afraid that the 2X might be a little too tight, you know, with a bathing suit underneath it. So, so adorable. Wait until you see that Talbot's try on video. And I bought the cover up, not because I have a swimming pool, but because I'm going to Hawaii. I just booked a trip two nights ago. My daughter and I are going for eight days to Maui. Very spur of the moment thing. Cannot wait to go. Um, my mom passed away three weeks. I've been having a difficult time. And I just thought, you know what? It's gonna be Mother's Day. Let's do something mother-daughter. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm gonna be doing some bathing suit videos for us apple shaped ladies. Be on the lookout for that. I'll quickly go over these because they were in last week's Talbot's try on haul, but technically I did buy them in April. I'm talking about the Talbot slim ankle jeans. I bought them in blue. They're available in many different colors. I love them. I find them very flattering for my body shape. I also bought the ruffled shoulder voop neck tee. It is super cute. I love it. I absolutely love this one and you guys did too because a lot of you have bought this and I don't think the blue is any longer available and it's the Talbot's textured fringe open front cardigan. I see in petite that at the time of filming this video it's available in pink and a nice teal. I'm debating if I should get the pink. I really really do like it so maybe if they have like one of their surprise sales where you get 40 or 50 percent off with free shipping I might get the pink. And I did want to show you my pebbled leather moccasins. They were here this morning, but when I'm gathering my stuff for this video, I can't find them. So I texted my daughter and said, do you have my Talbot shoes? And she's like, yeah, do you need them? And I'm like, yeah, I was going to show them in a video today. So it's a good thing we don't wear the same size clothing. Otherwise I'd be going around naked, but I absolutely love them. And they're comfortable, obviously, because my daughter is wearing them as well. Okay, so now, are you still with me? Let's talk about everything I bought in Amazon. And the Amazon guy was here pretty much every day for a, a week. The first thing I want to talk about is this nice photo collage wall frame. I was online. I needed to find a 8x10 frame for my mom's photo for at the funeral home. And I came across this wall frame where you can... Put in different pictures so i have it hanging on my wall and now i just need to get the photos that i want to put in it i just kind of like these things you know they're add a personal touch to your house and make your house a little more cozy and inviting have you ever watched the long island medium with teresa caputo i can't seem to find it any anymore i don't know if it was cancelled but i loved that show and when i was looking on amazon i noticed that she had a book I'm not sure if it's new or not, but it's called Good Grief. Heal your soul, honor your loved ones, and learn to live again. So I had only read the first four pages of this book, and I have to tell you, I was a little spooked. Well, not spooked, but just um, I feel like the message was for me. Some of the things that she described in the first um, story that she talks about actually happened when I was with, you know, my parents when they passed. My dad passed away six years ago, my mom just three weeks ago. So I love Teresa and I thought that this might help me to, um, you know, with the healing process. So if that's something that you are interested in, I just thought that I would recommend this book. And if you are like me and like to take a nice relaxing hot bath, you might like Dr. Teal's Eucalyptus and Spearmint Epsom Salts. I usually always buy the lavender or, oh, what's the other one, for aches and pains. I love it because it really does seem to work. So I saw this one on Amazon and I was kind of intrigued. So I haven't tried it yet, but it is sitting in the brand new acrylic apothecary jar for Epsom salts. Because just instead of, you know, having the bag, I thought I would put the bag in a nice acrylic container on our vanity in the bathroom and I have one of those OXO acrylic scoops. It doesn't fit the full bag of the Dr. Teal's, that's the only thing, 
the particular one that I have, I think it's 30 ounces. I don't have it written down here, but I haven't tried those Epsom salts yet, but I wanted to tell you, my goodness, they smell so good. I can't wait to take a bath because just the smell of spearmint is just, I love that smell. So if you like Epsom salts, you, you wanna give a new one a try, recommending this one. This is kind of a strange thing to buy, but you know, we've been in this house for two and a half years. And to be honest, I really haven't hung a lot of things on the walls because I've been busy with other stuff, but also wasn't sure if we're gonna stay here or not. But I thought, well, we better um, start hanging things on the wall and make it a little more homey. So I bought myself a stud finder. I usually get somebody to hang my stuff for me, but I figured, you know what? I'm a big girl, I can probably do this now, but I need to know where the studs are in the walls. So, you know, where I can hang my pictures. So I'm anxious to try this. It's actually sitting out on my kitchen counter. I forgot to bring it in here. I thought, you know, maybe I could walk around the neighborhood with it to see if there were any studs around, but I don't think it's that kind of a stud finder. Now I have a gigantic job planned in my head, <laughs> but it has not come to fruition yet because honestly, I just not, I just haven't had a whole lot of energy lately. I think I'm just really, burnt out and you know still really sad dealing with the fact that my mom is gone so one of the things that i want to do is organize my kitchen pantry and i bought a ton of these oxo storage containers and i just brought one in because i bought way too many to show you but i like these because you just push in the little thing here and it's an airtight seal. So this size is probably gonna be good for, you know, like chocolate chips or walnuts, something along that line. But let me just tell you about all the ones that I bought and I'll insert a picture. So I bought the spaghetti one, one for brown sugar, three of the smaller size, which is great for like little baked baking um, ingredients, one for white sugar, another larger size one, I guess, which would be good for say uh, cooking oats one for flour, and then they have this OXO eight piece baking essentials that uh, you know has all the sizes for baking. So I'm anxious to try that. I also got these food labels that I'm gonna put on the containers so I know what's in every container. And then I bought this little acrylic thing for in my kitchen cupboard where I have like all my vitamins, um, my thyroid medication, because usually, you know, if you throw pills, bottles in a, um, the cupboard, you can't see what's behind. So I thought, this is great. So I took my measurements for the, the particular shelf where I want to put them, and it fits perfect. And then I got two more of this size, which are going to go in my pantry to hold like smaller cans. Because sometimes, you know, in our cupboard, say we buy like chicken noodle soup or whatever, and you like pile them one behind each other and then you do groceries again and the person putting the groceries away doesn't do it the way you know where you should put the new stuff at the back. This is great because I was doing a little bit of cleaning and I found like I have eight cans of chicken gravy. Do I need eight cans of chicken gravy? No, but if I would have known what I had, then I wouldn't have eight cans today. So this is gonna be great and I'm really excited to get my pantry organized. I just need the energy and the incentive to do it. That comes in a pack of two and then I bought a four pack. It comes with dividers, acrylic bins for packages like taco seasoning, jello or you know, uh, pudding mixes. That's what I'm gonna use them for. And then I did buy one of the OXO Good Grips acrylic scoop plan to use that one with the uh, Epsom salts, but I will also probably get some for say the flour and uh, brown sugar. So go check out my Talbot's try-on haul from last week. Subscribe for my try-ons haul that's coming up later this week. And if you wanna see more of these what I bought this month type videos, give this video a like and thanks for watching. See you soon, bye.